will really have a true science when it is accepted in science and a true technology when all the phenomenology is thoroughly worked out and thoroughly understood when all the models are redone so that we adequately can model this theoretically and we can do engineering we can sit down and design the circuits they'll work every time we'll have components on the shelf we can buy assemble and they work we're not at that stage today we are at a stage today which is the birth of the baby we're not at the stage where it's already a teenager running around playing uh, playing baseball on the baseball lot we're at the birth of the baby and the birth is very difficult because it's opposed by so many interests the orthodox scientific community still uh, very adamantly oppose it because they think that it's nonsense they think that it's this old idea of perpetual motion in a closed system creating energy from nothing and that is nonsense you can't do that uh, there are very strong and very powerful economic interests in the world probably the strongest economic interest in the world which are adamantly opposed to it uh, can you see what this does to the oil rich nations uh, can you see eventually can you see what this will do to many things now actually what it'll do you'll phase the oil petrochemical industry won't go away you still need the oil for the materials that's in it and the chemicals and so it'll be more and more petrochemical industry rather than keep burning and wasting the oil and putting all the pollutants in the uh, biosphere so many things will readjust uh, it's going to wrest control from a lot of the great wealthy control barons who now dominate uh, largely the economic world and their world is going to change now what you're going to see I would predict uh, and we'll see if history bears this out when those barons really realize that this stuff is for real and it can be made to work and with the internet and with free publishing and computers and everything they can no longer contain the information and it's very embarrassing to keep killing the inventors that they stopped that about 15 years ago uh, at some point you're going to see an overwhelming availability of funds become available when the funds become available the scientists will change over into it because they go where the money goes they're bought and paid for simple as that you can't do research unless you got the funds you cut off the research grants professor gets without a job he, he leaves the university and so science is simply bought and paid for in this country and much of the world when the money goes the science will go to it now that will put the sharp young graduate student on it finally with some funds to do the experiments and work on their doctorates and so forth you will have a very rapid assimilation and advancement of a totally new and extended electromagnetic science at the time.